Hey y'all, it's in the neglected garage back at you. I just thought uh, in my last video, I it said something about me uh, buying an interior kit for my car back in 2015, I think it was. That stuff's sitting in boxes in my basement down here in my little man cave. So I got down here a couple of weeks after Christmas this year and uh, got my seats done and my door panels done. Uh, you know, I tried to get out the cheap route and get the, uh, unfinished door panels. And, uh, I think they were like 150 a piece versus 250 a piece for the finished ones. I think I had done some on a 70 Chevelle. I'd done a SS clone on one. And, uh, so I thought I'd try my hand at that again. And they turned out pretty good. I got some gluing still I got to get done before I put them in the car on the, around the edges. But, uh, just thought I'd show you the interior. And then uh, maybe go out and stick a battery in my car and put some gas in it because uh, I think it ran out of gas last time I started it, which was probably four months ago. Anyways, let me turn you around and then I'll show you the interior. Cause here's my seats. So I stripped these seats down all the way down to the springs. Now this is my first time ever doing seats in a, any car. Uh, like I said, the door panels I had done in a previous uh, build that I did, and then I paid a a guy that was uh, doing interior for on the side. I got him to do the seats for me and a, a headliner. So this go around, I'm going to be doing it all by myself, and uh, I'm bound and determined if uh, other people can do it, I can too. I'm not real happy with the way these right here turned out because I put square foam in there i guess as opposed to the expensive uh preformed stuff and i may take them back apart and redo them i'm just hoping that the foam will kind of once i get some heat in it that it'll kind of you know blend in with the uh, seat cover so we'll see how that goes anyways the door panels now you can't see them. i got rivets in them i've done the rivets and that and uh Boy, putting them felts on, that was a chore. Oh my lord. That was a chore trying to keep from tearing them up and get them in at the same time. I just re dyed my door uh, handles, they were green. And I just put the covers on here. I gotta get me some more of those little plastic shields that goes on the bottom, but they all turned out good. And I put the uh, new foam, like one inch or a layer of foam on there i done a little trick i seen a guy use one time where he put wire like a real fine uh, wire across from side to side like i don't know two or three strands and uh he said that uh when you sit on this side distributes the weight out a little better is what he told me and i tried to dye my seat belts they were green too so i don't know how well that's gonna look but either way they're in there and we're gonna be safe so got my door shield water shields my son gave me for my birthday and uh anyways it's ready to go in i just got to get all that welding welding done and get the floor get the uh get the floor fixed up and and uh we'll keep on trucking on the videos maybe and uh we'll, we'll just see how it goes we'll holler back at you just as soon as i can get it uh get it fired up and running